In May of this year, China made large aircraft C919 smooth commercial maiden flight. As the world's first user of China-made C919 large passenger aircraft, China Eastern officially received the world's first delivery machine of C919 on December 9, 2022, May 28, 2023. China Eastern successfully completed the first commercial flight of C919, Shanghai Hongqiao, Beijing Capital, round-trip flights. On July 14, the Civil Aviation Administration of China, CAAC, issued the second C919 aircraft Certificate of Registration of Nationality, Certificate of Airworthiness, and Radio Station License to China Eastern, signifying that the aircraft has the qualification for commercial operation and meets the airworthiness requirements of civil aviation regulations. On July 16, China Eastern formally took delivery of the second domestic C919 large passenger aircraft in Shanghai. At 10 a.m., the aircraft was transferred from Shanghai Pudong International Airport to Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport, officially joining the China Eastern fleet. The arrival of a new C919 aircraft, marking the commercial operation of the C919 large passenger aircraft is speeding up. According to reports, the C919 large passenger aircraft received by China Eastern for the first batch of China Eastern purchased five C919 passenger aircraft in the second, the cabin layout and the first aircraft to maintain consistency. This can be said to be a historic moment, the Chinese finally have their own commercial large aircraft. Many people may still not understand how impressive it is to be able to build a large airplane. Let's put it this way, at present, all over the world, only the United States, Russia, the United Kingdom and France have the ability to build large airplanes, and China is the fifth. How big is the market for large airplanes? In the next 20 years, the world will need 40,000 passenger airplanes worth $6.4 trillion. By 2041, China's fleet size will reach about 10,000 aircraft, accounting for 21.1% of the global passenger aircraft fleet. The Chinese aviation market will be the largest single aviation market in the world. C919, the name is actually quite interesting. The full name of C919 is COMAC 919. C is the first letter of COMAC, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, and the first letter of the English name of China. The first nine means long life, and the 19 means the maximum passenger capacity of the C919 large passenger aircraft is 190. Speaking of which, the Chinese people have been fighting for the dream of a big airplane for more than 50 years. Come to think of it, in 2003, China had already launched its first manned spacecraft, but it was only 20 years later that a big airplane was built. Why is it so difficult to build a big airplane? We can look at the example of a manufacturing power today, which is their close neighbor, Japan. How strong is Japan's manufacturing capability? For example, the wings of an airplane, the wings of Boeing, are made by Mitsubishi of Japan, then, for example, in an aircraft engine, the drive shaft, which is several meters long, is mostly made by Japanese companies, another example of carbon fiber materials used in aircraft, Japan's Tore, a company that occupies a very large market share. If you think Japan does high-end machinery or materials, the pattern is small. Aircraft Tires, the famous Bridgestone, is also a Japanese company. Although there are not many tires on the aircraft, and the value of the product accounts for a small proportion of the whole aircraft, but the tires are a consumable, often need to be replaced. To give you a data that better reflects the strength of Japanese manufacturing. Boeing's own share of the development of the Boeing 787 is 35%, and Japan's share is also 35%. Japanese companies are already on par with the main engineers as a manufacturer. As strong as Japan is, why is it still unable to build big airplanes? Because building big airplanes is not just about money, nor is it just about technology. Want to build a big airplane, 
need to have three aspects of the conditions, first, there must be money, no money, the project cannot start, second, there must be technology, after all, building an airplane is a technical job, the first two points, Japan can have, but the next point, Japan cannot do anything. Thirdly, it needs to have enough market of its own. Let's continue with the example above and tell you about it. How does the United States restrict others from building their own airplanes? There is a very good, magic weapon, that is, airworthiness certificate. The airworthiness certificate for an airplane is somewhat similar to the driving license for a car, without which you cannot go on the road. Want to get, airworthiness certificate, need the United States nod, if you cannot get the airworthiness certificate, the aircraft cannot fly international routes, which means that foreign customers will not buy your aircraft. If you can't sell to foreign customers, you can still sell to domestic customers. The prerequisite is that there needs to be a big enough market in the country, with enough demand, to be able to consider internal circulation. Unfortunately, Japan does not have such a large domestic market. Having said that, in fact, we can already understand, although in many high-end manufacturing areas, Japan's technical level is more powerful, but now it is China that builds big airplanes. The C919 development team has adopted a clustered path of technological breakthroughs, and after years of innovation and practice, it has built five internationally advanced production lines for assembly mobile production, central wing, center fuselage, horizontal tail, and full aircraft docking, and has overcome more than 100 core key technologies. It is needless to say that China's independence in the development of large airplanes, and, at present, Comac has more than 1,000 open orders, with customers including China's major airlines and aircraft leasing companies, as well as a small number of overseas orders. Currently, the C919's localization rate has reached 60%, but of course, there is still room for improvement in this figure. In particular, there is still much room for breakthroughs involving aircraft engines, new materials, electronic controls and other technologies. In the face of some think C919 just, China assembly voice, I think it is not objective and unfair. Aviation industry chain is very long, itself is the need for global industrial chain cooperation to complete. At the same time, as I mentioned earlier, with the completion of the first commercial flight of China's domestically produced C919 aircraft, the C919 has once again attracted a lot of attention, and there are some people who worry that the C919 will not be able to fly out of China without an airworthiness certificate from the United States and Europe. This also means that the C919 aircraft can only fly domestic routes, cannot realize the foreign exports, and in the international market for the same competition with Boeing and Airbus, but also cannot earn foreign exchange, to create greater profits. Some people worry about the lack of airworthiness certificates in Europe and the United States, the C919 is likely to be killed by the United States and Europe. So for the C919 did not get the US and European airworthiness certificate, really will face such a dangerous situation? After all, China's development of such a large aircraft has cost a huge amount of financial resources and scientific research strength, so easy to be stifled by Europe and the United States? In fact, to understand this problem, we also want to start from the European and American countries of the airworthiness certificate, airworthiness certificate is the United States and Europe for the other countries of the large aircraft issued by the aviation pass can fly, of course, as far as the world is concerned. At the moment there is only the United States of America's Boeing and Europe's Airbus II. To put it bluntly, their so-called certificate of airworthiness is almost a mutual. Recognition of each other's planes can be flown in the airspace of their own country. If they cannot obtain the relevant license, it means that they cannot perform commercial flights over their national territories at all. It can be said that out of the need for market monopoly, Boeing and Airbus will certainly not like Comac to enter the international commercial flight market. Then do not recognize Comac, 
do not recognize China's C919 passenger aircraft with international passenger capacity, do not give China's C919 passenger aircraft issued airworthiness certificate will be the probability of things. The United States for China's scientific and technological development is extremely suppressed, the United States worried about China in the field of science and technology will exceed their own, and ultimately break the U.S. science and technology monopoly, so that the United States cannot continue to act as the world's scientific and technological hegemony. With China's large aircraft production and put into use, which inadvertently gave the U.S. Boeing created a new rival, from a competitive point of view, the U.S. will be stuck in China's C-919 to obtain the U.S. airworthiness certificate. So far, the C-919 has not been issued by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA, the European Aviation Safety Agency EASA, airworthiness certificate, which also means that the C-919 passenger aircraft to the international market can only be suspended. It can be said that in the short term the US FAA will not give China's large aircraft C919 issued airworthiness certificate, just like the domestic ARJ21 airliner safe operation for many years also did not strive for the US airworthiness certificate, the United States cannot hope that the world more than one competitor. The US Federal Aviation Administration and the European Aviation Safety Agency have not issued an airworthiness certificate to the C919, which will lead to its inability to further expand its business, while other countries are basically to the U.S. airworthiness certificate as their own airworthiness standards, if the U.S. does not give China's big airplanes to issue airworthiness certificates. The probability that other countries will not. Although the international situation facing the C919 is somewhat less optimistic, but we have to remember that the C919 development is first of all to be based on the huge domestic passenger aircraft replacement market. To know that China is the world's largest civil aviation market, and China's early from Boeing and Airbus to buy a large number of Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 series of passenger aircraft, these airliners have reached the boundary of the need for replacement, which also gives the C919 can be a large number of replacements for foreign airliners in the cycle. Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC, has published its annual report on China's market forecast for civil aircraft from 2022 to 2041. According to the report, it is expected that by the end of 2041, the fleet size of Chinese airlines will reach 8,322 passenger planes and 685 freighter planes. The Chinese market will usher in more orders for the C919 airliner in the next 20 years, based on the Chinese domestic market, have already allowed the C919 airliner to operate at full capacity. It can be said that within 10 years C919 passenger aircraft is mainly supplied by the domestic market, there is no airworthiness certificate of the United States and Europe do not matter. As long as to meet the basic needs of the domestic market, so that the C919 aircraft can realize normal commercial operation and profitability, this is China's development of large aircraft to obtain the first step of success. With China's domestic market as the basis, China C919 can weaken the United States Boeing and European Airbus in China's market share, which also makes the United States and Europe have to pay attention to China as a rival. At that point, for Europe and the United States, they will have to accept China as a rival. When they accept China as a rival, they will issue airworthiness certificates for Chinese airplanes. Especially they also want to keep the market share in China, China's large aircraft after the maturity and stability of the aircraft. But also completely on the United States and European countries of the large aircraft to reappraise the airworthiness. If some of their aircraft have hidden problems and issues, we can also cancel their airworthiness certificate, in short, forcing them to recognize our airworthiness certificate is not so difficult. We know that we have the market they need the most, and this is our most powerful bargaining chip against them. Although the front of the Canadian Bombardier large aircraft business is the EU joint stranglehold, Malaysia's domestic aircraft also made a large number of orders by the US stranglehold, 
but the C919 airliner as long as a foothold in the domestic market, steady and stable, and ultimately realize the full localization of the operation, sooner or later one day the US will have to recognize, and to give us the C919 issued by the Certificate of Airworthiness. Moreover, reports show that at least 27 countries have signed bilateral airworthiness agreements with China so far, including Canada, Australia, Brazil, Russia and New Zealand. This also means that the C919 can also go out of the country. The future is left to the future. That's all for today's sharing, we'll see you in the next video.